Hey YouTube, um, I haven't done a video in uh, like five years, so this is me five years on T, um, quite a difference, and um, my old videos are still here on the uh, channel, um, there's like me singing and stuff and it's pretty embarrassing, but uh, I figure I will leave it up so that people can see um, the main differences. Um, big change in voice, lots of hair um, everywhere, and uh, more acne and stuff like that. Um, easier to build muscle, but definitely there was a lot of um, like distributing of um, muscle in different areas and then fat went to my belly um, which I don't see a lot of guys on here uh, with bigger bellies so um, I am a furry uh, chubbier dude so I wanted to post so that I saw more people like me posting um, so anyways um, I am one month um, post-op and I just got a tee shot today as well, so I wanted to make a video um, and uh, talk a little bit about like what I experienced. My um, surgery date was April 14th, um, and I went to UCSF and whoops, was uh, with Dr. Esther Kim there at the reconstruction. Um, and plastic surgery department. Um, so here it is. I've still got the um, bandages on my nipples, as you can see. Um, and all of this um, still looks a lot more um, intense, I'm noticing, than some other people's um, uh, videos the incisions just look a lot darker because the type of glue that they used um, I don't know if you can see but they it like is blue kind of and it made it look um, like I was still open a little bit but like the little tiny bits like you can see that have come off the incision looks tiny um, and not very red at all but the right side has some swelling on it um, but again, you can see where the glue has flaked off and it looks pretty good. Um, and I can show you the better nipple right now is the right one. Um, still kind of peeling and stuff, doing the petroleum jelly. Um, and that one looks a lot pinker and has peeled a lot faster than this one has, so I'm just kind of trying to leave this one alone a little bit. Um, but uh, we got some antibiotic cream instead of the petroleum jelly because I was noticing that that has been bothering me um, because it's harder when she puts it. My girlfriend applies it and it's a little bit harder than I'd like. But um, yeah, so it looks pretty good. I did notice that she went a little higher than I anticipated um, and didn't go as far back um, and take out what would have caused dog ears and stuff on either side. So um, I will have some working out to do. I worked out a lot beforehand, but I have a lot more to do. Um, but I also got um, heat rash uh, from being in the vest and traveling back and forth, uh, to San Francisco in the heat. So that's what, um, this peeling and kind of rashy look has been going on since before surgery. Um, and I wanted to say for us hairier guys, do not wax before surgery. Uh, tried it a little bit and that could be what is going on with this so I found that out one time um, mistake because it's never gonna happen again but <laughs> uh, they knocked me out to um, shave me and stuff I was kind of concerned about that because I didn't really want the 
uncomfortable situation of being shaved by someone, but uh, they knocked me out to do it and they shaved the rest of it because I only waxed like up top here and that's all I could handle. Um, and it really upset the skin and stuff, so it was just a bad, it's been a month and it's still like this, so bad move on my part. But um, everything's been good. My mobility um, is getting a lot better. I've had pretty good mobility um, since the beginning, though. I didn't think I was going to be um, able to move as much as I was right away. Um, the vest, the, the compression vest they made me wear afterwards, though, was hell. It was terrible. Um, I will make uh, possibly some more videos um, with a list of questions that I have written down um, and that will uh, have more information on the actual surgery and some things that um, people might want to know. Um, so yeah, it's doing pretty well. I will get back to you guys soon on how everything is going. Um, I don't have, like, a crazy lot of pain, but it's still too sensitive for shirts right now. Um, and that's the last thing I will say. I hope that the glue comes off more with showering and stuff. I started showering last week. Um, so hopefully that will be uh, gone soon and I will have more of that little tiny incision look because it's kind of getting me that it's not um, coming off as quickly as I want it to because I just want all this flaky, like, itchy stuff to go away and be able to enjoy my chest. So um, I'm a little concerned about the swelling on the right side. Uh, hopefully they won't have to, like, stick me with a needle or something because I'm a big baby. But, uh... <laughs> I will get back to you guys on that. I'm going to try bromelain um, and arnica and see if some of those things will help. I've been taking Tylenol pretty much since I got off of the crazy pain meds that they gave me, so um, it hasn't really taken it down at all, but I will let you guys know on that because um, I like the the right side the left side is the swollen one, and I do not like it, um, how it's looking right now, but I love my chest, regardless. I just would like, um, it to be a little more matching, but that's me nitpicking, so it's all good. Uh, get back to you guys soon.